Hey guys, welcome to my video on the treatment of bipolar disorder 2. So I'm going to start out with this vignette about a patient coming into your office complaining of severe impairment at work and in her housework. She has had changes in her sleep pattern over the past few weeks and finds herself pacing at home and work. She feels guilty and doesn't feel like doing anything at work or home. A co-worker made a comment about her sweater color not being suitable to her, to which the patient burst out in tears. She recently signed up for a national insurance sale at her work one minute after the contest was announced. So if you just read this like with one eye open or if you read it, you know, when you just woke up, you're going to see, oh, well, this is major depressive disorder. All right. Now, it does contain many elements of major depressive disorder. However, you need to train yourself to recognize hypomania. Because hypomania, although hypo, the main parts of hypomania are this, which I mentioned in my previous video, pressured speech, impulsivity, irritability. There are other things like fidgeting, pacing, and flight of ideas. And in this vignette, indeed, she is pacing. She is also irritable because she's bursting out in tears on a comment about a sweater color. And this is impulsivity right here. Now, an untrained eye might say, well, she's depressed, she has major depressive disorder, and this last line is her just coping with it. So this is not major depressive disorder. This is bipolar 2. However, a common pitfall is to make a misdiagnosis. So you make the misdiagnosis, and then, of course, in the answer choices, there's going to be an antidepressant, an SSRI, and you're going to pick that. Now, you pick the SSRI, what happens? This is really bipolar disorder. So you, you, you pick the antidepressant, the SSRI. Now, as you know, bipolar disorder 2 has two components, hypomania and at least one episode of major depression. So you give an antidepressant. What do you think is going to happen? You're going to have iatrogenic mania. Okay. And that is something you want to avoid. So another common pitfall is you do make the right diagnosis. So you make the correct diagnosis of bipolar 2, but then you think, oh, well, it's she's coming in mainly with depressive symptoms. Let me treat those, and you give the antidepressant. So your thought, your initial thought process is correct, but then you give the SSRI, and you are completely off in your answer, in your actual answer, even though you made the right diagnosis, because they're asking for treatment. So in the treatment of a bipolar disorder too, you want to stabilize the patient, okay? And the first line for that is lithium. Now, you can add, you can add an antidepressant to lithium if there is some refractory, some refraction to the treatment of the bipolar disorder by lithium. However, you never, ever, ever want to give the SSRI alone. That's always the wrong answer in this case. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe.